beat yo Beat yo, beat yo Get at me for beat yo Right, here we go guys and girls out there in YouTube and Facebook land it's your boy Rome I'm out for a nightly ride it's Tuesday night it's very good weather so far I have heard that it rained in a couple of spots but if it rained over here, I haven't seen it, nor am I worried about it. It feels good to be out, me and my beast, hitting these roads. You know, we got out for a little bit last night. We went down to uh, one of the local spots where a lot of guys come through on a non-official bike night which is PP1 officially called, which is actually a Starbucks and a Jumba Juice, Jumba Juice right at um, Westheimer Post Oak off of 610 here in Houston. Real cool spot to hang out. You know, if you're not in a club and you're looking for, you know, like I said before, in many of my other videos, some independent guys to just hang out with or go for a ride, that's one of the spots you'll usually find them. And you know, the cool thing about it is you get guys that come through there of all type of backgrounds, lifestyles, ethnicities, every type of bike you can think of will roll through there at one time or another. You know, if you guys are following me on Facebook, you know, you'll see some of the uh, live posts that I'll do from some of these events or some of these spots. And I mean, it's, it's been pretty cool. I mean, this was a really good riding season and a lot of people got out. I mean, it's about to start cooling off here in a little bit. To me, I would consider that the second riding season due to the fact that it's gonna be a lot cooler. Not cold, because we're in Texas, but cooler. So our bikes are gonna ride and run better because of the temperature. Man, so, you know, that's, for me, that's one of the best times of the year to get out and ride. You know, you get to wear your leather. You're not dying from the heat. And you get, you know, get out and enjoy yourself. This is what it's all about. You know, at the core, that's what our lifestyle should, and I say should, always be about. Us hitting these roads, you know, whether it's collectively in a group or just you, your bike, and your thoughts. You know, get out and ride, enjoy yourself, make the best of your day or night. You know, if you're lucky enough, you know, to have, you know, a GoPro and a microphone or whatever action camera you may be using, I'm using a Sony and a GoPro setup. But you really don't need all that. You know, just get you a simple Amazon cheap microphone. You know, and you can find even used GoPros that will accommodate for what you're trying to achieve. If you want to start blogging or just to record, you know, for, for your friends and family, some of your adventures, I say go for it. And I'm going to tell you guys, you know, for a lot of these moto bloggers, that's exactly how they started out. And I mean, yeah, there may be some big names today, but in reality, most of them just started out, you know, riding around and observing different things. You know, I mean, some of it to me is kind of silly. 
you know, when somebody's riding down the road and they go, oh my God, there's a Whataburger or there's a Jack in the Box or, oh, there's a gas station. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and you know exactly who I'm talking about, so don't act like you don't know. But anyway, I think that if you get out, for whatever reason it is, enjoy yourself. So today before I left uh, the house, I was doing a little bit of editing, and usually whenever I'm doing that uh, for a client's project, I usually have the television on. And you know, day after day after day, you know, whether I'm watching Fox News or CNN or NBC, it doesn't really matter. You know, everybody's talking about the election. I mean, you know, basically in the world, for these next few months, there is nothing else going on in the world. There's no crime, there's no fires, there's no war, there's no starvation, there's no poverty, nothing. Everything evolves around politics. So, my personal opinion is this. If you vote for Trump, you get nothing. If you vote for Hillary, you get nothing. Now, why do I say that? I say that based on history. Can you tell me what any elected official that you voted for, that you helped vote into office, has actually done something to benefit you? And if you can't, then that just kind of proves my point. It doesn't make a difference who we vote for. It's not going to have any effect on your life directly. And it's almost like, well, you know, it has to do with trade and it has to do with the, the military and it has to do with all these different things that are going on in the world as to who's in office. In actuality, it really doesn't. Because no matter who you vote for, you're going to get the same thing. You're going to still have fucked up roads, homeless people, homeless vets. We're going to have government agencies that are still not responding the way they're supposed to. And you know, when it comes to that, that's something that's always, you know, kind of boggled my mind. You know, how many people are always talking about we want government out of our lives, government out of our lives. But then something happens and then they don't understand why the government didn't just rush in there and save the day like a superhero. You know, most people say, oh, Obama's overreaching, overreaching. He's in everybody's life. He's involved in everything. He's micromanaging the government. So when a guy doesn't show up on day one of the flood in Louisiana, the recent flood, he's criticized. But even the governor, the mayor, all said the same thing on every interview. We were happy that the president did not come down so that it did not take away resources that we needed to help people. So whether that be fire department, law enforcement, whatever it is. When the president comes to town, it's a circus. So you have to really start thinking at some point with common sense. What are you really asking for? I don't think most people even know what they're asking for. You know, if you could talk to either of the elected or the, the people who are running for office right now, what would you tell them? What would you say to them? What would you say, I want this, we need this, we need that. Don't worry about what they did or didn't do because that's not gonna have any bearing anyway. Because these are the rich elite and the majority of the things that you may have a problem with them doing, yes, it would land your butt, my butt, and everybody else probably watching this video's butt in jail. But it will never happen to them. So stop worrying about it. You will never be them. It's just the reality of the world. You know, my biggest gripe is that it seems like so many people who consider themselves to be very educated individuals spend six months to a year every four years praying to God for someone to lead them someone to direct them someone to come and save them what did you do those other three years 
Did you run your business? Did you further your education? What did you do for you? Did you vote for you? And if you did, hey, that's great. I'm not preaching to you. I'm just asking. But most people did absolutely nothing. And they sat back trying to figure out why they don't have a boat, why they don't have a second car, why is their house mortgage not paid off magically. It's because you didn't invent anything. You didn't innovate. So if you want to reap those rewards, it doesn't matter who is in the White House. It doesn't matter who's in the governor's mansion. If you can achieve, man, trust me, you will build and have all those things you want regardless of who's in the White House. And like, oh, well, you know, they're raising taxes and they're doing this and they're doing that. Hey, let me tell you something. When you're making real money, paying taxes is just a part of the game. And anybody who is making money knows exactly what I'm talking about. The only people you hear complaining about taxes being too high aren't making money anyway. So <laughs> it really don't matter what they say. You know, you're a wage slave sitting there listening to Han Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, trying to pretend like you're on top of things and you really understand what's going on in America today. You don't have a clue. And you know, you can be offended by what I say, but honestly, I really don't give a fuck because it's the truth. So that's my rant about politics, the election, and dumbass people who are waiting for a savior. Anyway, guys, it's your boy, Rome. <laughs> yeah, I know you'll share this video. But anyway, I will get back with you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm out. Shut the fuck up.